you know, anytime you play Norfolk State, you know what you're getting. Um, our kids, we, we're still young and inexperienced, and and you know we're taking a lot of things for granted. I'm leaving the game horse, and that's expected. You know, we're starting two freshmen in the walk on, but I, I told them I don't care. All you guys put on a North Carolina Central uniform. I thought we got off to a decent start, and um, the last four minutes of the first half were we were absolutely horrible. Um, we got cool. Um, turned the basketball over, forced them to turn the basketball over, and we didn't capitalize. And I thought that gave them some confidence at the end of the first half, uh, which extended into the second half. Then the second half, it, it, I don't know, we, we went over scout reports for five days, and you guys know who the shooters are. It's 24 and 35, and the ones that's open, it's 24 and 35. So I, I don't know. I got to do a better job of coaching and communicating to them and you know, I didn't like our effort at the beginning of the second half or our intensity. They got open looks and, and layups, and I just put a group in there. I was trying to search and find, and we just put some guys in there that just competed, and that's all we needed was some some guys to just compete, and, and hopefully that could stop some of the bleeding. And we were able to do that and sustain, uh, but we got to finish games better. But nevertheless, we're 2-0. and We'll take the win. Yeah, it was it was a combination of all three. We started, you know, I, I told, especially Sean, like it, it starts with him. You know, he, he can't be <laughs> stagnant. You know, his energy level has to be up. I thought in the first half, you know, he, he, he'll he score 23 points in his sleep. He's talented enough to do that, but he got to rebound the basketball better, and I challenged him to do that. You only had three defensive rebounds, and you're the tallest guy out here. And – a couple of times he missed some rebounds, and they got the offensive rebound and kicked out for a three, and that got the shooters going. So those are the little things. So it wasn't necessarily execution or anything I was doing. I just had to have some guys in there that was going to fight and compete because Norfolk is always going to fight and compete. You mentioned fighting. You also started two freshmen. What do you think of those two? Man, they're driving me crazy. They're good, great. <laughs> I love him, but they're driving me crazy. Uh, Jordan Perkins, you know, he's not – I told him, you know, North Carolina Central is a, is a really strange place um, because once you arrive, regardless of the chip that was on your shoulder, it's it's a lot of things on this campus that can soften you up, if you, if you know what I mean, and starting with our ratio <laughs> of, <laughs> you know, so – that that kind of trumps whatever the coach is talking about. You know, it, it, it's been like that since I was here. So he was feeling himself a little bit. He's been feeling himself a little bit during practice, and I've jumped on him. But I'm trying to get him to understand you're going to play exactly how you practice. And, you know, that's tough when you're retweeting your articles and your freshman of the week and, you know, whatever. The, somebody is liking your comments and posting. Now you're walking through the calf with your sweatsuit on and you a little cuter than you were in August and, you know, all of those things. So we're competing against that instead of coming out having the same chip on our shoulder. He has to be better. He has to step up and make free throws down the stretch. You know, that he's more than capable, but his focus isn't where I need it to be. And I was really disappointed in Reggie Gardner. Um, you know, he's he can again he can shoot the basketball, but I'm challenging these young men to compete. Uh it's not high school where you can just be the best player on the floor and guard the worst player on the floor. It's, I can't hide you out here. And his performance defensively in the first six, seven minutes of the second half, that was unacceptable. And I had to challenge him on that. And and I'm always gonna challenge him on that because this program wasn't built on finesse. <laughs> you know, it was built on the grind and we gotta make sure we we sustain that. I thought he was great, you know, because he, he's been out a week and a half with a concussion. So this was his first contact. And, you know, Tiger Woods have showed you, you know, I don't care how great you are, you can't just come back and do it the way you did it uh, prior to you leaving. So, you know, he, he he was with our trainers for a week and a half, and he did a good job of getting back. I thought his conditioning was decent. Um, but, you know, I told him, you're okay. You know, just drink some water and drink, drink some Gatorade and get some electrolytes in you and – you know, let's finish, you're a senior, and this is what it's about. So he gave me his heart and soul, and he grinded it out, um, you know, down the stretch, and we were able to pull it off. Um, today we just showed our toughness. You know, we could have laid down when we got down, but as a team, we just we just continued to fight through, and uh, we got the W, so that's the most important thing. Now for the four questions. Coach, they uh, 
I know you thought you were great, man, but you worked out body language and how things kind of start start with you. Yeah. Do you feel like that to bring more energy to the entire uh, roster and everything else? Uh, I mean, it start with me, but, I mean, basketball is a team sport, so, yeah, I mean, I do have to bring more energy, but we all do, so. But it starts with me, though, so if I start it off, then everybody else will just follow. What was the biggest turnaround or the key to, to fight back to after being down 10 in the second half? Uh, stops and rebounds. Just That's it, stops and rebounds. Did you have any kind of complaints when they kind of slacked off a little bit like they, they were able to go back in? And um... Yeah, to um, well, we had them. I think at one point by twelve in the first half, and then we I think going in into halftime we were uh, up by four. So I think the last four minutes of the second half, I mean of the first half, we uh, we kind of gave them false confidence, and then going into like the the second half also, you know, we came out kind of sluggish, and that's when they got went on their run. But when we picked our energy back up, that's when you know we took the lead back. Um, it makes it a <clears throat> it makes it a lot easier because they can't just key in on me. They have to respect them guys too. So when they hitting shots, it just makes it a lot easier because, like I said, if they if they don't respect them, they're just gonna keep hitting them. So it's you know you gotta pick your poison. So you're gonna give up something. So. Pablo comes back from injury, gets 14 points and eight rebounds from the bench. Um, mm -hmm. How nice was it to get him back? Uh, yeah, I like playing with Pablo. That's my guy. You know, you know Pablo. He does everything. You know, he plays hard, good shot, good motor, rebound. So you know, it's a, it's a blessing to have him back. Twenty three points for you. Uh, no spring for this whole team. Double digits. Um, how are you able to do this though? Um, honestly, it's really um the guards I play with. Um, Perkins, Austin. You know, Reggie. All the guards, they 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 they're the ones who open up the floor for me. Without them, you know, I couldn't. I wouldn't even get the ball because, like, y'all know, I don't bring the ball up. It's the point guards, so they get me the ball. So it's not really about what I do. It's really how much they create for me. All I got to do is catch and finish. So it's really, you know, I give all the props to them for that. For a team full of new players, um, but for you, this is your first time playing a conference game at home. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the atmosphere like? Uh, it was crazy. I kind of liked it. You know, um, Central came out and showed a lot of support, showed us a lot of love. So, you know, hopefully they keep doing this throughout the uh, rest of the conference. This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.